Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another special episode on QCR. Today on QCR, we're gonna be making the inappropriate burger. You're like, inappropriate burger, what's that? I'm gonna show you right here on QCR. So first thing we wanna do is go over our, our equipment list. This is all of our equipment we need. So ground sirloin, I got 90-10. We got our cheeses. We got the creamy melt mozzarella cheese and the sharp cheddar cheese. Kielbasa, hickory smoked bacon. Thick, naturally smoked, and no water added. So before we do this bacon, we're gonna put it in the freezer. I already put it in the freezer, put it like an hour in the freezer so you can cut it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We got our butter, extra creamy salted butter, our sharp knife, barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sour sauce, mustard, mayonnaise, and ketchup, and on our equipment list, a challah bun. I've never had these before. They're called slow dough, baked in Texas fresh daily. So we're gonna try these out. And I got a new press. So I'm gonna get my bacon cut up. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Sharp knife. I'm just gonna open the end. Hopefully it opened. Let's do it again. Open. Let's cut this out. Peel her on back. What I also like to do, I have some spare napkins already unrolled and tucked away over here, so I don't have to mess with the paper towel holder while I got dirty hands. So, got our bacon, roll it back a little bit, and then I'm just gonna cut off some pieces, just like that. Oh, this side piece didn't want to cut. Got some good bacon pieces. I probably should, let's say an hour on the bacon in the freezer, because I don't think I had it in long enough. You want it really firm, so it cuts good. Then you just stack up your little bacons, just like this. You just go right down the middle. Perfect. Those are the perfect bacon sizes. Perfect. That's a pretty good amount of bacon. Um, so we're done. We're done with this for right now. So let's take our bacon and put it to the side. All right, guys. Now we've got our ground sirloin. This is one. This is 1.4 pounds. It's actually a lot. We're not going to use one and a half pounds almost. So we're gonna use about three quarters of this. I think the package was leaking, that's gross. And we're gonna make some little balls, about one third pound balls. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we got our scale here. I got this scale. So we're gonna do about a third pound. Hey, we'll do a quarter pound. Quarter pound patties. I guess I need to flip this up huh? a bit more. Exactly one quarter pound, perfect. The next one. A bit more. Perfect. And our final one. Three of these one quarter pounders. Perfect. So now we got three one quarter pound patties. All right, everybody. So what you want to do is take these balls, just kind of roll them around your hand like that. They don't have to be perfect. The more you mess with them, the worse it's going to get. Just roll them to a ball and leave it alone. Roll them to a ball. Don't put any sauce or any salt or any pepper on your balls. Your meatballs. Get them in a nice little ball. Perfect. Wipe your hands off. Alright, so now we are ready to move outside. Actually, we're going to do one more thing with here. We're going to make our um, sauce to go on our bun. 
after we get it off the grill. Oh, I just dripped some mayonnaise down there. But mayonnaise, probably too much. A little bit of ketchup. And just a dab of mustard. And that's gonna be our sauce. And then as always, we take our little, take a little knife right there. And mix it up. Look at that. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay, so let's head outside. All right, first thing we need to do is get our bacon on. Get our bacon going. Now we got our bacon started. Get that going. We got our butter put right here in our little dish. So our butter. Hope y'all can see this. I was getting picked up on the camera. Get the bacon going. Alright right, guys, we're gonna slide this bacon over to the side. Let it finish cooking over here on the side. Just like that. We're gonna take our bun, get our bun going. Take some of this butter. It's on the bun. Gonna look good. Put that right there. That's hot. Spread it on like such. Put that right there. Glaze the top of that bun. Perfect. Alright, now what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do with this is get our patties. our patties on. One patty, two patty, and three patty. Perfect. Perfect patty. So we got our new press. We want to put some butter on here. Make sure it don't stick. Perfect. Perfect amount of butter. Let's see that guy. Perfect. That guy over there. And press it down. Press her down. Press her down. Just like that. It is hot out here, guys. A pair of salt and pepper. Salt pepper on there. Well, that was just pepper. Here's the salt. Alright. Move this bacon around. Don't want that to burn. This butter is going crazy. A little bit of butter. Whoopsie. Take this off. Slide this over. Let's check it out. Woo! Too much. Too much heat. Too much heat, guys. Too cooked. Way too cooked. Dang it. Oh well. Oh well. Still edible. So the first patty. A little bit of mustard. You're like, it's not cooked yet. I'm like, I know. Worcester sauce. On the other patty. Barbecue sauce. Patty number three. You're like, what are you doing? That's inappropriate. I think my Worcestershire sauce just ran right off that patty. Alright. Now that we got that there, now we're going to flip it. Well, let's check the bottom. Oh, yeah. That is ready to flip. Ready to flip. 
get some grease back over there. That's bacon grease. All right, take some of our bacon. Put it on the patty. Just like such. You're like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Rick? Oh no. All right. Now we're gonna put some cheese. How much cheese, you might ask? A very inappropriate amount. A large inappropriate amount. How much is inappropriate? Why is the cheese not open? You take your cheese, right there on top. He said, dang it, Rick, that's a lot of cheese, buddy. Dang it, that's inappropriate. Why you put that inappropriate amount of cheese on there? Because it's an inappropriate burger. Take our other cheese, Philadelphia creamy melt. Put it right here on the top of that one. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Let's try this. All right. All right. Let's, put Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, that's pretty good at melting. Next, uh, inappropriate. That is hot. I'm gonna stack them. Look at that. See how well it stacks. This handle is hot. Oh lord. Look at that. I get my phone out to take a picture of this. Alright. So we got our bun. Get our sauce. Put a little sauce on our bun. In case you can't see that from that angle, can you? Take our burnt bun that we burnt a second ago. Sauce on it. I got there. Now, we're gonna take this burger, slide it right onto there. Man, it smells good. Look at that cheese, guys. Cheese coming right off there. Oh, that melty goodness. That coming. All right, guys, we're back inside. I just took it off the uh, griddle. It's hot. I'm gonna show you. Look at that. Look at the guy right there. Zoom in on it. Ooh, inappropriate. That thing is huge. Huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna show you how awesome it is. First, I'm gonna try. Let me turn this a little bit. First, I'm gonna try and eat it regular. Let's see if you can see this. See what it looks like in my hands. Yeah. I'm making a mess all over this floor. Oh, shoot. All right, here we go. Mm -mm. Amazing. Simply amazing. The inappropriate amount of cheese on here. Just inappropriate. QCR makes best burgers around. I don't care what anybody says, they're lying to you. Let's turn this camera over here. Get us, get us another big bite. Let's get a get a bite off this side right here. Mmm. That's amazing. Something amazing. Look at this. This burger patty. Definitely not keto, though. Definitely not keto. Guys, this right here is making me sweat. Oh my goodness, I wonder if the patty fell in half. I wonder if that's why it's squirt. No, it's just slid over to the side. Appropriate. That's real good, guys. If you like my channel, 
Give me a thumbs up. Well, first, let's do this. 90-10 meat. Got a sirloin. Put my salt and pepper on outside. Never salt and pepper first. Never do that first. Salt and pepper when it gets on the grill. Once you squish it down, put your mustard, mustard on one patty. Uh, barbecue sauce on the other patty. Worcestershire sauce on the other patty. Flip it. I think I had my flame too high. Flipped it a little fast. Flame was a little high. Flip it. Let it burn in. Sear in is what we're calling it in the in the nose. It's called searing it in. And uh, once it's flipped, salt and pepper, cheese. How much cheese? An appropriate amount. Then once that's done, oh, you also put your bacon on there. Make sure you put your bacon on there before the cheese, or the bacon might uh, fall off. Have your sauce ready to go that goes on your buns, or you'll be waiting in your patties to get cold while you're mixing your sauce up. So do that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you put your bacon in the freezer an hour before you're ready to cut it. That way it cuts nice and clean. It doesn't tear and be all nasty. Put your bacon on first, get the grease going, then your bun, your patties. Put your bun off, sauce it. Patties on the bun, eat it gonna be great make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up hit the share button share with your friends have them come by and join me for lunch at qcr headquarters and uh, that's it thanks for stopping by guys